Hey everyone, Doc Beach here with Applied Ballistics and today I'm going to do a support video for you guys showing you how to pair a Kestrel HUD and for good measure we're going to throw a rangefinder in there too at the same time to the uh, Kestrel 5700X. Uh, we're going to do this video as if you had just bought these products new, they're in the box and you're doing this from scratch. So. Bear in mind that this will be the same method for whether you're using the 5700X, the 5700, uh, the Elite, or the Ballistics model. Uh, any of them with the Applied Ballistics engine. Uh, any of the 5700s, I should say, with the AB engine on them that have the Bluetooth feature. Uh, for the 5700s, uh, the standard model, you'll need the, the version with Link, or you'll need the 5700X version. So... Let's go ahead and get started. So with your 5700, what you're going to first want to do is you're going to want to, of course, put a battery in it. So we will pop the uh, unlock switch on the bottom, remove the back casing, and we're going to use the original batteries that come with it. Uh, that's These are the ideal batteries to use with this device, so I just recommend that you always use the Ultimate Lithiums. Go ahead and place that in. It's going to power on automatically, and on the front you'll see, uh, well, it said um, version 1.40. For reference and for future reference, uh, anything with version firmware 1.40 or, of course, newer will work, just in case, you know, it's 2021 and you're, you're still looking up this video. So just make sure you're on the latest firmware before you start to do this, which uh, as of you know, June 2nd, 2020, is version 1.40. So after the device is powered on, what we're going to do is we're going to hit our uh, settings button here and we're going to hit the down arrow and we're going to scroll to Bluetooth. Now, if it says off, we want to make sure Bluetooth is on. Uh, in this case, we'll use minimum Bluetooth power. The, uh, the standard 5700s, it's just on or off, but with the Xs, uh, you can set the Bluetooth power on them. And since we're going to be doing these devices side by side, uh, we'll set it to minimum. If you planned on using these devices, say this in a wind vane mount, 20 feet away or so, you may want to turn the Bluetooth power up a little bit higher. Just know it's adjustable and we want it on to, to perform this task. So we'll highlight Bluetooth and then we'll hit enter, the center button. And you can see that there's actually uh, two modes here. We have device mode and uh, mobile mode. By default, this device is in mobile mode. Uh, this is for whenever you're connecting it to a phone or the Bluetooth dongle on a computer. You will not be able to use the HUD or connect to a rangefinder when in mobile mode. Uh, devices that require ABE or AB external, like the uh, SIG 3000 BDX, just for reference, you will need to make sure that if you want to connect to those other devices, physical devices, that you have it in device mode. If you want to connect it to a phone, make sure that it's in mobile mode. And as you're using this, if you wanted to manage profiles and connect it back to the app, you will need to go into the setting, switch it back to mobile to connect to the phone, and then if you plan to use the HUD or rangefinder, switch it back to device before you start using it again. So we'll hit the right arrow and we'll bring it into device mode and you can see it says device and HUD connect. We can connect this to both uh, the HUD and uh, for say a, an AB external device at the same time. Uh, you can have all three of those operating simultaneously. So now that we're, we're at the right screen, we have it in the right mode and we know that Bluetooth is on, we're gonna go ahead and go to the Kestrel HUD. So again, we're going to treat this as if it came just out of the box. To uh, remove it from the mount, we're going to pull from this side where my thumb is here. Pop it off the mount like that. Do not pull from this side. Do not pull from the side where the uh, screw mounts are. And then we're going to flip it over. We're going to push the button here that says double A, which will allow us to remove the back cover. Then we're going to use, again, ultimate lithium battery. Highly recommended, uh, that's what it's gonna come with and that's what you should use. Also down here, of course, we have the, uh, the cable port. Uh, that'll be for another video, uh, another support feed. We won't be covering that today. Now, when we turn this on for the first time, which what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that it 
also has the latest firmware on the start screen. So there we go. And then we're going to hit uh, our power slash settings button. It will bring up our settings menu. And what we're interested in for this is we're interested in the Bluetooth settings because we're trying to pair it. So we'll have Bluetooth highlighted and we'll hit enter and you'll see Bluetooth is on. So we want to make sure that we leave Bluetooth on so we can pair these two devices. Now, if you're in a crowded uh, area or if you're out uh, at a shooting range where there could be multiple HUDs, you may want to make note of the serial number because that's what's going to show up when you go to pair it. And if you're at home, there's no other devices around it could possibly connect to, then that's not relevant for you. So with this on and Bluetooth on and verified, we'll now go back to our 5700X. Uh, from the Bluetooth menu under the device screen, I'm going to scroll down one by hitting the down arrow and then one more time, hit the down arrow to where it says HUD connect. We're going to hit the enter button once. You can see here it says name and new. We're going to hit the enter button one more time and you can see it says searching for devices. You can see here that uh, it's popped up right away. It says HUD 2513173. And if we look here, you can see that that's the same serial number we have here, 2513173. That would matter if we were at a busy location that had multiple devices pop up, but in this case, you know, we only have one choice, so it doesn't. So with that highlighted, we're just going to hit enter, and they are now connected. I'm going to hit the settings power button over here to back out. You can see it says connected. You can see here there's a little Bluetooth symbol on this screen that also shows you that that's connected and we'll go ahead and just exit out back to the main screen and you can see that they are now running and connected together pretty simple uh, I can change the range from the HUD and it will here in a second it'll update on this end and I can change the range from the Kestrel and it will update on this end just give it a minute to, to repopulate um, there it goes so that's how simple it is to connect these two devices. However, uh, you can actually connect more devices to this at once. It, it does allow for simultaneous connections. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate that now by bringing in a 2400BDX to the mix at the same time. So this is already in ABE or AB external mode. That's an important key note here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, with the 5700X, I'm going to hit highlight where it says device connect and hit enter. And you can see here it says new and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter again and it's searching. I'll hit the range button one time to power on the 2400BDX and you can see it's instantly populated there. It's highlighted on this screen so I'm just going to hit enter one more time and now it's also connected. So now all three of these devices are connected uh, simultaneously and that will allow this to work uh, with the AB Elite engine and all three of these devices to work together. You could actually connect one of the SIG BDX scopes at the same time into the system and have all four devices running simultaneously together if you wanted to. But that is how simple it is to pair these, uh, all these devices together using this new system. I will note um, one last thing is, and what's important not to forget is if I wanted to connect this back to my phone because uh, I wanted to manage profiles or use the app to update firmware or something along those lines, I need to hit the settings button, go back to Bluetooth, and then push either the left or right arrow to return this device to uh, mobile mode so it connects, so it can connect to the phone. You cannot connect to a phone and a HUD uh, laser rangefinder at the same time. You must choose one mode or the other. So hopefully that's helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, make sure that you add them into the comments below. And make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell on our channel so you get updates on our latest support and uh, tech and, uh, of course, educational informational videos. Thank you.